I know it's tough, Bird. Yeah. But you tough. Yeah. It's go, go, go. Go. Come on, Bird. That's too slow. Come on, Bird. Come on, Bird. People are slow as hell. We're going to get them in shape. Uh, you better. So long, hey, now you know what? I, I have a witness right now to your flood. Look at them floods. She wears floods every, <laughs> every, every day. day. All right, let's go. These are capri. These are capri. <laughs> floods. All right, go, 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 go. Don't let Houston Alexander's playful nature with this Saturday morning workout group fool you. He is still all about bringing war. And in the main event of VFC 40 on July 27th, that's exactly what the assassin plans to do when he steps back into the VFC steel to battle Chuck, the Reverend Grigsby, for the Revs light heavyweight strap. First of all, Chuck is, what, 6'6". Six, six. That stands out the most. Uh, I'm close to six foot. Chuck has got to be the tallest guy I've faced over the past maybe 11, 12 years I've been doing it. Standing in front of this guy is gonna be very interesting to me because, you know, because he has the reach, he has the length, and uh, from what I, what I saw on film, um, Chuck has the, he, he has the speed. So, you know, it, it's, it's gonna be very unpredictable. I gotta, I gotta really concentrate on, on, on his movement because Chuck has really good movement. After needing just over 60 seconds to put away MMA journeyman Dennis Reed at VFC 39 back in April, the six-time UFC vet and his camp is preparing for and expecting a much tougher tilt this time against Grigsby, who has fought for the likes of M1 and the WEC while building his 20-8 record. It's going to be a challenge because he has the experience uh, and, and he has the, the ability to, to, to not just stand there and, and strike with you, but he, but he, can, he can choke your ass out. He, can, he has that ability, he has great jiu-jitsu. And Houston's training to win like he does all his fights. So, so this will be a big step if we win this one, we got a chance to look at something uh, a little bigger in the future. But for now, the assassin has his sights set on the one man who has the one thing that he wants. Chuck has the, the victory belt, and I want the big victory belt, so it doesn't matter. Chuck is the best, he's the best opponent for me because he has that belt and we're bringing that, back, that belt back to Omaha where it belongs.